Hello everyone, today I want to teach you how to use custom field function in your project. In some projects, you have initial values and you implement these initial values into your problem. In this video, I want to teach you how to implement <coughs> these initial values via use custom field function. Uh, to do this, uh, at first you should uh, set the models, materials, and boundary conditions and uh, set up information here and then you should go to initialize when you initialize your project uh, and you see you see that uh, initial is done uh, you can go to graphics uh, set the contours for example preview in my in this uh, in this problem I want to uh, show I want to use custom field functions in the preview uh, to be used for higher side pressure uh, implementation. Okay, and uh, you see here that all of my domain have the same pressure, but it is not in the real. Uh, okay, go to uh, user defined functions, click on custom field function. My function, as I drive before, is that uh, I enter now. I uh, 20, 4, 15, okay. uh, minus 10,000 cross 9, and for example, in this position, I should uh, cross these values with the height of the domain. I go to mesh and click on Y coordinates. Uh, as in my uh, coordinates is X and Y. Uh, yes, is click on select and my definition is card. Okay, uh, I name this as my pressure, for example. Uh, click on define, close this uh, window, go to initialize, go to patch. Yes, you see that my field function is here, my pressure. Click on pressure, click on surface body, uh, click on use field function, and after you click my pressure, you see that the patch is open. Click on patch, and the patch is done. If you go to contours and display this uh, contour, you see that the pressure gradient is correct. I do it correctly. And you can see that uh, here is the project gradient. If this tutorial is helpful for you, please like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thanks.